All right, hey, my name's uh, Kevin. I uh, kind of briefly met Rare at the meeting, and I figured I'd make a quick video about um, Google Classroom and just sort of give you a walkthrough of that. Um, so if you go to the Google Classroom link, uh, just like this, I'm actually going to use a separate email for this. Um, if you go to Google Classroom, if you don't have anything, this is what it's going to look like um, after you log into your, um, your email. You're going to click this little plus button up here in the top right corner. Click the join class. Uh, sorry, not the join class. You're going to click the create class if you're a teacher. Um, this is talking about students. We're not in any school, so go ahead and click continue on that. And then you'll put in your name. I'm going to put demo for here. That's the only thing that's required. Um, you can fill in section, subject, um, room, and all that. You're going to go ahead and create that. Well, that's creating. Get loaded up, and first thing, it will give you some nice prompts like this, which is nice. So invite students to your class. Um, this is the code. You can click here. That's the code. So for example, if I was making this class, all right, this is the code that I would use that I would give to my students that they would type in. Um, and then you can right here, you can copy that, copy that link. So I can actually show this to you. If I go into another, um, I go into Google Classroom again, but I'm going to go into a third account. So I'm going to go to another account, um, a different email. And so now I'm going to be as a student. I would go in and click the join class um, link, and that's where I would put in. Ooh, that didn't work. Let's go back and copy this link again. Copy the link. We're going to put it right into here. Maybe not. All right, let's just try copying this way. Yeah, there we go. So that's the code. If I click the join, they'll click the join button here in the top right corner again. And that'll get me right on joined on in. So, yep, so now I've got the demo class here. Um, I can, they can create posts and such. So, but going back to the um, student tab or teacher tab here, um, different things you can do. Uh, if you go into your settings here in the top right, you can change your your name, description, all that such. Um, who you're gonna invite? Uh, you can. It, teachers in schools they have an option right here to open up uh, straight to Google Meets. Unfortunately, that does take a G Suite um, subscription, which the, most of the time these schools purchase. Um, but that is more expensive and more integrates Google into the uh, classroom. But for our, for your guys' purposes, I don't think you need that. Um, to get Google Meets, um, there's a couple ways you can do it. You just open up a new tab and you're just going to go to uh, Google Meets here and um, open right on up. And uh, you can do, click the new meetings button, you can do three different options. So start an instant meeting, um, it's pretty much self explanatory. You can get a meeting link to share, I'll show you this one. Um, it's really just going to give you a link. You top the, click this button here. It'll uh, copy. See, it says copied meeting link down there, and you can uh, paste. You can put this right on into here. So, um, share with my class. I can just pay, uh, paste it in there and go ahead and post. Um, so now, anybody who's if I go over to my student here, I'm going to refresh. Um, so me as a student, see now I see that, and I can click on that link, and it's going to take me to the Google. Google Meets, and here I can. Um, saying failed because I'm using it for this, but they can go ahead and join in now um, in different things through that. Um, another way you can do it is if you go back and you do click a new meeting and schedule in Google Calendar. Um, so it's giving me a little bit of issues, uh, but basically, so if I go here. Um, and right in here where it says where it says Kevin Macy for me if you change that um, to another class uh, right it should it would be in right here it's for me it's not because it switched over to my primary email but it should say when I was testing it out dance class date so um, it should come up with for mine it'd be demo and yeah you wish you create that uh, class so why don't 
I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Another thing, because that's one way you can do it. And then there is another option. If I go back over to my emails using it as a teacher, um, just you, you're going to create an event using um, your teacher's email, the, the email you have as a teacher. Uh, if I go just, let's say, Friday class. That is not how you spell class. Um, Friday class, and now I can go into here, click demo, um, and then there'll be a button. You can click here to start it. Mine's already um, there. So if I go ahead and save this class, now that right here, um, this is for my demo, but the Friday class is it's up there and ready to look. So if I actually went over in my if I go in my student, the email that I have as a student, it'll pop up as well. So theirs comes up, Friday class, because it's in their demo or their their class. The schedule will show up, and they can click on that. They can join through there. Um, or you can simply just paste the a different link. So one thing is this link will be different than this link, so you can't do both. Um, those letters in there are different, so you can't. You have to pick one or the other, but you can't do both. Um, but as for, yeah, that'd be how using Google Meets. I found that that's the best works for me. Um, I'm not saying that's what you have to do, but I found that Google Meets works pretty. It's it's very user friendly, uh, much more than uh, the typical Zoom. So uh, a couple more things you can do within the actual Google Classroom. Um, you can just quick make posts. Uh, you can select actually what students see it. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. Um, and then you can uh, type what you want in here, uh, paste that link again or whatever. Um, you can add Google Drive links, files, YouTube videos. Um, so if you happen to take a video of your class and you want to hate, um, Kids, go ahead and watch this class for this week. Um, so Hannah can go, she can record a video of herself doing a dance, upload that to YouTube, and you can put in a YouTube link. Um, you can make your YouTube links so that they're only able to be viewed by people who have a link to go to the video. Um, so I have a couple of those, so it's not open to the public. So say Hannah was recording a recording of her dance, she didn't want all these, uh, just anybody be able to search and find it. She could, when she's creating it, um, I can actually show you that uh, with my channel. Um, if we go here, uh, if we go into the create, upload video, um, within the actual YouTube, there's an option to select where it's a private, where you can only view it if there is a link. So it's looking like I have, yeah, so they would uh, drag and drop it into here. Um, so yeah, my auditions right here. So it's unlisted when I'm when I'm creating it. Uh, private, unlisted, or public. So unlisted gives me a link. Um, I use that for my audition for marching band in high school. I didn't want anybody to be able to see me just sitting in my living room playing the trombone. So I put that as unlisted. You could do that too. And then if you went into it, you could um, options or where would it be? Um, should be in here. Uh, if they go into view on YouTube, it would work. Um, this will pull it up. And, uh, they can share the video. So right here would be the link. If they copied it. Um, then you can go back to your class, and you could be, uh, watch this video paste the link, post it, um, and then once again, if I go back to my student tab, um, I can see that in there, and I can click on the link, and it'll throw it up, and I can see this. Um, not everybody's going to be able to search it. You need the link to get to the YouTube video once again. Um, you can also put in classwork uh, within the Google Classroom. You can create an assignment, quizzes, stuff like that. I'm not sure how much you use that, but you can also see who is in your um, class. So that's one thing I wanted to get to is you can add students. You could also add teachers. So let's say Hannah had a class where she was um, 
she was teaching the class and she had all her kids, she could invite Beth at, to be a teacher as well. So you'd go into invite teachers and then you would uh, type in their email right up here. Um, and then I would send them an email inviting them to be a second teacher. So you could have two teachers and co-teaching a single class. So that would that way Beth isn't just one of the students. She would be able to actually edit things in the class, upload things as a teacher. Um, and then grades and really that's it. Um, video about a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's sort of um, introduction into what you can do with uh, Google Classroom, uh, Google Meets, and just sort of how to use that. And uh, hopefully we don't have to. But uh, like you guys were saying, it's good to have a plan in the background. Um, so hopefully this video helps. Uh, I'm not saying this is how you have to do anything. Um, you're open to do whatever you'd like. But this is, um, from what I picked up, from what the little bit of the meeting I was at, uh, sort of seemed like what you guys wanted to do. So uh, I'm happy to help. And if you have any questions, let uh, Hannah know. She can ask me. Um, I enjoy making these videos and uh, clipping them together. So, but uh, best of luck to all of you, and I uh, hope this helps.